Hey everyone in the YouTube world, this is Craig from Flying Wheels. Welcome to my Flying Wheels YouTube channel. I know how much you guys love coming to the auction with me. Today is another auction day. I love the auction because, like I say in every video, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes I get some good stuff, sometimes I get some bad stuff, sometimes I get some cool stuff. That makes That's what makes my job fun. Well, today I'm going to the auction. Come along with me. I know this is a Toyota Land Cruiser, like a 74 Toyota Land Cruiser V8 swapped. I've owned a few of them, and to be honest with you, I'm not a giant fan. They ride like hell. They're uncomfortable. The one I had, I felt like I was always going to fall out of the door and they're rattly and they leak. And it's like driving an old Jeep Wrangler. But I guess they're a lot more rare, so people like them more for that reason. You can't find them all the time. And when you see them, they're pretty cool to see. It's kind of like those old Land Rover, not Discoveries, whatever those old Land Rovers are that everybody wants to pay way, way, way too much money for. So anyway, there is a Toyota Land Cruiser, not an FJ, Land Cruiser, like the old ones, the 74-ish. V8 swapped at the auction. Come along with me. But before you do that, Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. That way you get to come to all the auctions with us. You get to see all my insider car dealer tips and tricks and, and everything else is fun sometimes and sometimes not so fun. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's go to the auction. We're heading out to the auction in just a minute, but before I even get out of here, I wanna go over a few things about the FJ Land Cruiser that I've learned going into this. Because I did my homework, I did my research. I wanna know why the heck these things are so much money. So I'm gonna show you a clip right here. These are all the FJs or the Land Cruisers on eBay right now. Ready? Welcome back. Okay, so you'll see how expensive, like the cheapest one was like $17,500 and they're ranging from $35,000 all the way up to $70,000. They're all over the place. I don't get it. I know they're rare. I don't know. They ride like hell, so I, I don't know, but people like them and, you know, to each his own. So here's what I have come up with finding my research. First of all, it's a Toyota. Toyotas are expensive in general, but Toyota have Toyota reliability. So you want to get an off-road vehicle, Toyota's where it's at. That Land Cruiser, the new Land Cruisers, Cruisers have transformed into like luxurious SUVs. So those are outrageously expensive, but it's their flagship vehicle. The old FJs or the old Land Cruisers started out in the 50s for war vehicles. And then the wars ended in 53. They have transferred over to industrial and uh, privately owned vehicles. So they were trying to compete with the Jeep Wranglers. The good thing about the Toyota versus the Jeep is it's Toyota. Toyotas are more expensive. Toyotas are more reliable. So they actually were able to, I said more expensive. I should just say Toyotas are more reliable because they weren't expensive back in 1953. The other thing I came up with with the, the Land Cruiser was meant for war. They transformed it into a residential vehicle where people can privately own them and go off-roading with them. Uh, apparently it's like known as the unstoppable off-road vehicle back then so all the way up into the 70s 80s they turn more into like family-ish luxurious but up until that point they were crazy off-road cars and could go through anything with their real low range gear they only had like 125 horsepower in the gas six cylinders so F stands for gas B stands for four-cylinder diesel. H stands for six-cylinder diesel. I don't think we had the options in the United States for those. I think we just got that six-cylinder gas engine, which is 125 horsepower, which who cares when you're off-roading because you only want the torque anyway. Low-range gear, ton of torque, in the incredibly unstoppable mud machine. That's probably why people want these things now. Plus, you can just bring to car shows and show it off because you don't see them everywhere. The other thing I came up with is uh, they were actually better than Jeeps. So... Toyota made these things better than the Jeep to compete against the Jeep. So you get that going for it too. Now I showed you how much money they are on eBay. Let's go see how much they are at the auction. Real quick, I'm gonna show you an image of the history of the Land Cruiser 2 from start to current, start, starting date to current. Now, couple seconds, check it out. It's pretty neat, ready? Today's a fun auction day. Here we have a 74 Land Cruiser. Ford V8 in it. Hey everyone, it's Craig from Flying Wheels. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about cars, everything with an engine. Today I'm at the auction again. There's a 1974 FJ Cruiser going through. I have no idea what this thing is worth, but it's all built up. I'm curious to see what it's going to sell for. Come along with me inside the auction, see what it's going to go for. If you guys know what these things are worth, comment down below if it's worth it, if it's not worth it, if it's way overpriced, if it's way underpriced, and it's a steal. I have no clue. I don't even know what to bid on it. But I know that somebody has a ton of money into it. So let's go check out the car first, then we'll see it run through the auction, how much it sells or doesn't sell. We have here a 1974 
Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Obviously lifted, has, and it go up to the sign. 429 big block V8 engine, high speed transmission. Full roll bar. Dana rear end Detroit lockers. Disc brake, Mickey Thompson's. Pretty nice little FJ. going through the auction soon so we get to see what it sells for. $17.7 plus auction fees is probably four or five hundred dollars. So they're up over 18 grand. It probably cost that to restore that car into that condition. Was it worth it? What do you guys think? What are those worth? I have no idea. If you're an FJ guy, comment below. Tell me about that car. And uh, make sure you subscribe to follow more content of stuff like this. Thanks everybody. See you later. Adios.